welcome back to my channel, you came back. In this week's video, what I have for you is a first impression and review of Zebra Glitter and Nails Liquids and Powders. Um, I really like Zebra. She has so many colors and also a few options for liquids. I got the Essential um, three-piece. It's got like a base, an activator, and a top coat. She also has like a two-in-one and then she has like minis and she's got like all kinds of options for liquids. So many kinds of powders, glitters, all kinds of stuff on her website. It's really fun um so yeah if that's something that you're into if you want to see what i think of these liquids go ahead and stick around and let's get into it okay so the liquids that i got are the um essential liquids so they have easy liquids and they have um the two-in-one base and top coat but i just got the like essential liquids they're 18 dollars for the three of them and I did use the uh, base already just to do my tea bag which I'm probably going to be chopping my nails off next week you guys because I just kind of want them to not be tea bagged anymore. Um, that happens sometimes. That happens sometimes with my triple vitamin. I actually appreciate the fact when this happens that the lid pops off because you can just like move this and crack it off and then boom. That was my fault when I was putting the brush back into it. I like dropped it because <laughs> I'm stupid. And so that's why it's stuck like that. But it doesn't, like I said, my triple vitamin liquids do that too. So it's not really a big deal. Here's one thing I love about these liquids. They have like a really big stopper in them. That's great. Um, so that, you know, you can get the like right amount of liquid out of here. Um, it is a little difficult to get it back in because the inside one is a little smaller. I don't know if you can see that on film, but um, yeah, there's that about the brushes. I like that. I like the way the brushes feel in my hand so far. So yeah, the colors I decided to do today is light coral and fairy tale ice. That's what they look like. Light coral, fairy tale ice. I think they're gonna be really pretty together. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do all of my, I know it's so weird for me to like be doing a two color mani so often. My last one was a two color too. Um, but I just, I'm feeling it right now. I'm gonna give it a stir. Um, it's really fluffy. I've, uh, I swatched them and I found all the colors that I got to be really fluffy and easy to use, but. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna do, you know, dips of coral, and then I think I'm gonna do, I haven't decided, should I do an ombre from the tip or from the base? I always do it from the base, so maybe, I think maybe I might do it from the tip today. But, okay, like I've said before, I find it easier to start with your um, dominant hand because by the time, it's just easier that way for me. Because by the time I get to like my easy hand to do, um, I've kind of lost my patience a little bit. <laughs> so they both turn out better than if I start with like my good hand and then this hand's like so good and then this hand I've lost my patience and it's like the hand that I can't do as well anyways. So I'm like, and then it looks like dog poop. So there's that. Um, yeah, we're gonna still do the line down the middle that I've been doing. So let's talk about like prices on Zebra real quick. You can get an Essentials Liquid Starter Kit for $22. It comes with three liquids and two dip powders, which I think is a really good price. Oh, that's the thing I also love about Zebra is you can get um, like samples for like $4. Um, this one's one of their new shooting stars, so pretty, um, $16. But for most of them you can get like samples for like four to five dollars which this is a sample so it comes in a jar which is really nice um it's pretty cheap and she has so many colors they they have like so 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 many colors i um bought these myself by the way i spent my own money on this it was not sent to me um for a review not this time um yeah so there's that I'm trying to find like where's a comfortable place to so 
how are y'all doing? How's how's it how's it been going? How's life treating you? <laughs> so fucking weird. So far, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell <laughs> this quickly, but so far, I like them. I don't. I I don't think I like the stopper in it, guys. I at first was like, oh, how nice, but I don't, I think this stopper is like kind of annoying, like it's kind of hard to get back the bottle, back into the bottle, which I find to be obnoxious, but also as everybody knows, I'm going to say it again, I'm really hard to please when it comes to liquids because personally. I love triple vitamins liquids. Like, there's not a thing wrong with those liquids. They are my favorite. They are amazing. I have glitter in my kabuki brush. I know there's glitter in there. Oh. It's alright, because I'm going to do glitter over it anyways. So, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, yeah, so as far as liquids go, I'm kind of... I'm hard to please. A lot. I really do like this color a lot. Isn't it pretty? I don't know. Is it coming off more orange on film? I don't know. But it's really pretty. I've been wanting to do like an orangey, corally kind of color for a while. So, I'm excited about that. Do you guys ever, do you ever like, get to a point with your shape that you're like what is going on what have I gone like what has happened here and then you're like uh should I just chop all my nails off and start over I'm right there guys I'm about to totally Britney my nails like for real and just go to like total nubbins start over fresh this kabuki brush you guys from diplomatic I love it I don't know that anybody can get it. I'm sorry. I I think the um, starter kit from Diplomatic has been like out of stock for like ever. I don't know if it's coming back in stock. And yeah. I feel bad talking about it, but I love that Kabuki brush. I don't know if you can buy it by itself. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Maybe this should just be a silent dipping video. So these mini jars, I kind of like put my finger upside down to dip into them. Because if you dip in, if you have any kind of length to your finger, you're not going to like get completely um, all the coverage. So there's that. I don't even consider how thick these might be. I don't think they're too thick. Oh, they might end up too thick. I don't know. Maybe I should uh... This is what happens on first impressions, you guys. Like, you're like, how do I use these? That's why I hope you guys take my first impressions videos with a grain of salt because it's literally the first time I'm using them. So I don't know. And I don't really like, maybe I should, maybe I should like do some research first. <laughs> I don't know. I was going not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. And then like, I don't know. Do they end up? as good as they could have if I knew what I was doing I mean no so 
But then I feel like y'all have a better idea if you do decide to use these uh, liquids. But two are not to do. So I'm not coming all the way back onto my cuticle just yet, which I might be a mistake. Um, so I'm gonna do one more dip. I mean, if you don't count that like first one as a dip, just as like a building my apex kinda, these take longer to dry too, which is kind of nice. I've noticed so far. Will be nice when I do my ombre, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it from the tip of the base yet. I wish you guys could tell me which way I should do it. Makes me a little nervous to do it from the tip because it's more, it's uh, easier to mess up from the tip. You know me. I'm always afraid I'm gonna fuck it up. That's good, you guys seem to like it when I mess things up anyways, so. $18 though, you guys, I mean, that's like a really good price for liquids. It's cheaper than triple vitamin, that's for sure. So, if triple vitamin's a little steep for you, which, let's be honest, they're expensive. And I haven't really smelled any odors in these either, so that's a bonus. I like that. I like that. Looks like there's some like chunky chalkies in here, which is really bumming me out. Um, Luckily, like I said, I'm going to do glitter over it, so it won't matter. You won't see it. But, FYI, it is there. No, that was my fault. I just dropped a chunk back in there. Hold on. Let me fix that. toothpick because I saw that I did that and then I just <laughs> maybe I'm gonna need to do the glitter from the base maybe I should just do it from the base and then like do an entire glitter from the tip ombre video is that something you guys would want to see is glitter from the tip ombre I <laughs> I've done every other kind of ombre so I mean I kind of feel like I have to right I do have to say these liquids are going on quite thin, which is nice. That is nice. Haha, -ha. maybe I figured it out. 
Because I like to dip into my jars better like that. I just do. I don't like the flipping my finger over and laying into it. I don't like it. It's not my favorite. Here's something I have to say about the applicator. I do like how long the brush is. That's nice. You know what I mean? I don't like it when they're like short. Makes it difficult. See that? I did it right that time, you guys. It just takes me like a few fingers to figure it out. And this is like literally my first time ever using zebras, powders, or liquids, so. Okay, so you saw how many dips I did. They don't seem very thick, right? I don't think so. I don't know how thick or thin y'all do your nails, but they're not thick at all to me. So, that's a good thing considering we have to do glitter still and then a dip of clear. Ouch, okay. Guys, I slept totally wrong last night. My neck hurts so badly. I have a Tiger Balm patch on. It's not helping. Also, I'm one of those people, tell me if you're one of these people too. I don't like taking ibuprofen. <laughs> I'm like, there needs to be trauma before I will take any kind of pain pill. Like if I like fell and hurt myself or something like that, I'll totally take it. Yeah, absolutely. But like, just because I woke up achy, I'm not like taking ibuprofen. And my husband's like, what is wrong with you? Just take some fucking ibuprofen. But I don't want to take ibuprofen. What am I doing? Jesus, Rachel, get your life together. Okay, tilt towards the jar. Tap. I always put the glitter um, up above my skin because, again, you want it. Again, you want it to be thickest, obviously, at the base. So I always like to do it up on my skin so that I can make sure that the base is nice and thick. And then just kind of work my way down. This glitter is amazing. It uh, is really like a fine glitter with like also chunkies in there, which I really love. I might have to place some of the chunkies, which I'm okay with. Try to start working that glitter up the nail a little bit more now that my base is nice and thick taking just a tiny bit at a time making sure to turn my nail to the side and get the sides you don't want to pack too much onto your brush at a time guys that's I bumped my brush with my nail <sighs> I'm having a is it Monday or something <laughs> what is happening Okay, so yeah, easy enough. We, we can fix this, guys. <laughs> can we fix it? I don't know. Okay, that's good, right? Right? Right. Tap it off. <sighs> Luckily, you won't really see my thumb in pictures, so I'll just have to look at it and be ashamed of myself in real life. Um, okay, so yeah, let's, um, shit. Mm, 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 mm. I want to do like another layer of base so that I can do some more of the glitter. Um, but when I put the base on, it's going to pull some of the glitter and it's going to get on my brush. So I grabbed, um, mm-hmm. 
grabbed a wipe so I can wipe off my brush so that I don't get a bunch of glitter back into my base. I don't like wiping my brushes onto just like a paper towel, y'all, because paper towels really, they leave a lot of lint behind, um, which is not good. You don't want that. You don't want lint on your nails or in your bottles. Um, so I always wipe on a, a lint-free wipe, but also you can wipe on a coffee filter. They work just the same. And they're cheaper and more readily available, so. Man, I don't know. That. My ombre, okay. Go back in there. My ombre sucks. All right, let's just take some chunky glitters and stick them on there. I really love this glitter though, it's really pretty. I think that's gonna turn out good. Hello. Did you guys hear that? Somebody releasing their air brakes. Okay, so we'll let that dry a little bit while I go on to the next nail. And we'll come back and dip it in clear. All right. interesting because these bottles this bottle has a stopper but I feel like because the stopper is so tight it's actually making it like difficult to get the brush back in which is like making it so I get the liquid all over the top which is gonna make it get sealed shut easier So, 
I'm gonna use my glitter, oops, sorry. I'm gonna use my glitter clear because it's got a bunch of glitter in it. Obviously, I think I'm gonna get glitter all over the place with this. I really do like this glitter, it's so pretty. Iridescent. It would be like really good with like a teal also. Like if you did like a peachy and a teal in this glitter, so pretty. It's like kind of iridescent and stuff. It's so beautiful. I really like, I love this glitter. I'm just going to go all the way through one hand, all the way to top coat, um, just to show you, and then I'll do my other hand off camera. Okay, activator. Oh, that's nice. The activator doesn't have the stopper in it. I mean, I get why the base has the stopper, but I don't like it. <laughs> totally honest. I really don't like that stopper. So far though, I'm really, really digging these colors. And this is like beautiful together. It's hard to tell in here, like the actual colors that I'm seeing. So we'll give that like a minute to work its magic before we start buffing and filing. And look, they didn't even turn out that thick. After I buff and file, they'll be just fine. Okay. Start filing. This is, uh, I think this is the Sparkle & Co. file that I'm using still because I like it. So. Activator.
Okie dokie. Wipe. Which, like I said, again, uh, you can use a coffee filter um, for a lint-free wipe also. Or a tea bag, but that's weird. <laughs> um, Alright. I was trying to do my top coat in three passes the first time around. Wipe the brush before I put it back in the first time around. It's got that stopper again in there. So far the brush is not hardening any hardening up, so that's nice. Um, the top coat seems to be like leveling out really well on its own, so that's also nice. I put kind of a thick layer on my middle finger on accident. And then second pass, I go a little bit slower. So you can see it's getting a little wrinkly. Um, you can kind of tell that it's like drying a little bit. So you put that second coat on. Take a little more time to get all the edges. And I don't, I don't wipe it the second time. This might mess, that might mess up this top coat because that's just what I do with my triple vitamin, but I want to know if I can treat it the same as triple vitamins, so I am treating it the same as I do triple vitamin. I'm basically just like on a hunt for triple vitamin liquids, but like better for cheaper. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all are into that, but that's what I'm basically doing here. and. I gotta tell you, I'm coming pretty close to my face. You can't tell from the camera, but my face is right here. Um, and it's not burning my eyes, which I really appreciate. Super shiny right now. Super duper shiny. Um, I don't know how long I need to give it a dry because again, I'm an idiot and forgot the directions. So I'm going to put like five minutes on my clock, uh, let them dry, see what I think, and I will be back for an outro. Bye. So what did you guys think of that video? Did you, did you enjoy that video? Do you like? reviews I don't know and do you like them do you like when I do first impression reviews I like doing first impression reviews it feels like a lot of pressure because I'm always afraid um, that I'm gonna fuck it up because I'm usually don't read like directions I just assume that like all the liquids work the same and then I use them <laughs> um, so yeah I really liked these liquids there's a few things that I really really liked about it I liked the way the brush fanned out I liked how long the brush was I liked that they didn't smell like I really did not smell anything from these liquids I usually like the next day after I do my nails I get a little like stuffy like I have a cold or whatever um, I wouldn't say it's like the dip flu like some people get but I get a little stuffy sometimes and I don't think that I got like congested like at all with these liquids so if you're like a dip flu person these could work really easy for you I found the filing and the buffing to be really really good the top coat I found to be like thinner than triple vitamin which is good but also is like a learning curve because I do feel like it kind of pooled up a little bit on a couple of my nails because I just wasn't expecting that um but I'll do better next time but something I love about the top coat is it is very shiny it is like like triple vitamin shiny guys the top coat is very very shiny so and also I love the price I mean they're super cheap I think what $18 I think they are so I mean 
that's a good deal because with triple vitamin they're like ten dollars for the base the activator and top coat each ten dollars plus it's like ten dollars shipping so yikes um so anyway uh hopefully you liked this video if you did like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you're not subscribed do it and uh yeah that's all i got for you this week so i will see you next friday is a first impressions and review apparently i'm boring and she has no interest goodbye bailey